Okay. Are we ready? I mean, yes. Tom. Okay, I want you to go to page 50. 50. We will come back and cover the other material. But I want to jump to the pastoral qualifications. And we'll deal with some questions. Can women be pastors? There's, there's a big debate that goes on in many countries about that. Maybe there would be a debate in this classroom about that. I don't know. But it, it's a good thing for us to ask, what does the Bible say? So this is kind of a, an example of what we just did in our last session. So on page 50, we have 1 Timothy 3, 1 through 7. Let's go there. Let's go there. This is one of the passages that Paul gives us about the qualifications of a pastor. Another passage is Titus chapter 1, verses 10 through 13. And then also in 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. In, in all three of those passages, we have qualifications for pastors. The list in 1 Timothy and Titus is almost identical. Peter covers a few different things in his passage. Okay, let's have a volunteer who would like to read 1 Timothy 3, 1 through 7. You can read it. You can read it. You can read एउटै पत्नीको पति संयमी समझदार सम्मानित अतिथि सत्कार गर्ने सुयोग्य शिक्षक हुन् मतवाला र रिसाह होइन तर तिनी विनम्र झगडा नगर्ने धनको लोभ नगर्ने आफ्नो घर राम्ररी चलाउन सक्ने र आफ्नो छोरा छोरीलाई आदरपूर्वक आज्ञा पालन गर्ने बनाउन् यदि कुनै मानिसले आफ्नो घरका हरुलाई तह लगाउन जान्दैन भने तिनले परमेश्वरका मण्डलीको देखरेख कसरी गर्न सक्छन् र तिनी नयाँ विश्वासी नहुन् नत्र त घमण्डले खुलेर तिनी ज्ञानवशले पाउने दण्डमा पर्ने छन् फेरि बाहिरकाहरुका दृष्टिमा पनि तिनी असल ठालिनु पर्छ नत्र त तिनी निन्दा र ज्ञानवशको पासोमा पर्ने छन् ओके इन माय बाइबल इन वर्स 1 अनि मेरो बाइबलमा पद 1 मा इट सेज इफ एनी म्यान एस्पायर्स टू द अफिस अफ ओभरसियर an overseer is a leader. The Bible uses three words to describe the office of pastor. Ani Bible ma zain yozani kere office of the elder. What do you say? The office of a pastor or overseer. Pastor ko office sa. So if you go to page 51, in the the three words that the Bible uses are overseer, overseer, elder, elder, and pastor. pastor. All three of those words are talking about the office of the pastor. The leader of the church. 
The word overseer is used to describe the function of leading and managing the church. अनि यो overseer भन्ने शब्द चाहिँ मण्डललाई डोर्याउने र व्यवस्था गर्ने जिम्माको जिम्माको कुरो बुझाउनलाई प्रयोग गरेको पाइन्छ। So a pastor leads and he manages the church. Pastor le mandal lai doorya uncha rata lai bebasta garcha. The word elder is talking about a person who has experience walking with God. Ani arko sab dase elder bani sab dase pray karega cha. Tio sab dale jai parmeshu sanga hinne anubhav ko bhakti bani bujao cha. Usually it refers to an older man. अरे प्राय घर रहे हो जैसे अलग ती पाको उमेर भाई का who has wisdom तेरे संग ज्ञान बुद्ध ज्ञान था and experience अनुभव था and so this is another word that talks about the job of being a pastor अरे और को अर्थ में यो जे पास्टर हूँ दाखिल को करने उटा काम हो so if you're the pastor you oversee and you manage the church जैसे ले तबाय पास्टर हूँ नुन्सा बने तबाय ले मंडल लाई रेख देख कर नुन्सा रते लाई व्यवस्था व्यवस्था पन कर नुन्सा Using the wisdom of an older spiritual man. अलग अलग पाको आत्मी की अगुआ को दिमाग लगा रहा तो पहले व्यवस्था करने चाह। The next word is pastor. अन्य और को शब्द जैसे pastor. It means shepherd. अन्य ये इसको अर्थ है गुठालों में चाह। So you have overseer. तो पहले संगा रेखे करने। Elder, elder, pastor. Pastor पनी चाह। so maybe it would be better to say that all three of those words overseer elder elder pastor pastor refer to the shepherd the word pastor does mean to shepherd sheep it describes the tasks of guiding and feeding and protecting the sheep. And yes, let's say, netritu agarne, khuaune, ra bedar la, surachya dine kuro la, jano da sa. And interestingly enough, that word also has the idea of smelling like sheep. And yo sabda ma arko bani uta, luke ko kuro zikye sa ba ne, tina arzai, bedar jaste ganaune, ganda aune bekti bannu. Why would a shepherd smell like sheep? Gothalo bheda ko ganda maya kasari bansa? Because he lives with the sheep. You know, but you bheda aru sangai bansa. The shepherd is with the sheep. Ha, you say bheda aru sangai cha? So he smells like the sheep. Ani tis kaane u bheda jastai ganam cha? So God wants pastors. Tiasai le, parmeshwa le, pastor aru. Who are with his sheep. आपनों भेड़ार संग चाहन देखने चाहन उन चा Who manage the flock ना क्या इन्हें बगाल लाइन के लिए व्यवस्थापन कर दे Who use the wisdom of the word of God to lead the flock अने के लिए परमेश्वर को मानिसर लाइ डोरे उन्हें परमेश्वर को ज्ञान प्रयोग कर डोरे उन्हें So whenever you read the New Testament तब पहले नया करार में जे पढ़ने उन चा And you see the word overseer यो त्यां जे तब पहले जा जा जल जल पढ़ने उन त्यां देख रेख देख करने और elder elder और pastor pastor they are referring to the same office in the church जे सुखे बने पने त्यो जे अथवा यो टे ही office त्यो जे ही हो pastor को office it is the shepherd of the flock त्यो जे ही केरे गोठालो भेड़ा गोठालो now some churches are led by a plurality of elders or ane, many shepherds. Ane kati ota mandal yaru maze thu pray elder aru, athwa thu pray ogwa aru unsa. Other churches may be led by one shepherd. Ane kati mandal yaru yuta gothalo le doora ko unsa. Regardless, the church needs to be led. Jesus ke bhai pani mandal la netrito dinu parsa doora yenu parsa. By someone who is qualified to do so. Just to go on a lie, you get back to the door. Now let's go to page 52. And I make a statement. Pastors must be men. Pastor haru puru sunu parda cha. Do you disagree with that? Ke tapayin tis ma be kere asamat hunun cha? So you would disagree? I agree. You agree? 
I want to show you why I believe that. And, and, and let's see what the Word of God says. Because today you have many churches with women pastors. And the question is not, are men better than women? Are men more spiritual than women? I know many women who are far more spiritual than men. I know some women who are better Bible teachers than men. And are better prayers than men. I know some women who are better leaders than men. But I don't think the Bible teaches that women are to be pastors. And I think there's a very important reason why. Now before we start, I want to ask you a question. Uh, another theological question. Have you noticed how much theology we have brought into these lessons? Theology informs our understanding of the word. It helps us to understand. So here's my question. In the Trinity, are God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit equal? Are they equal? Yes. Oh. They are co-equal. They are all God. So, so let's, let's talk about the definition of the Trinity for just a moment. One God made of three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All are eternal and equal. Okay? They, they are the same in their essence, but different in their function. And in their authority. Which member of the Godhead is the ultimate authority? The Father. God the Father. God the Son is in subjection to God the Father. Correct? Okay, no? But they're equal. Equal in their essence. But different in their function. Jesus submits himself to the Father's will. The Father is the authority. So even in the Godhead, we have equality, but we have a difference in function. So, are men and women equal? Yes. Yes. Are both men and women created in the image of God? Does God value women as much as He values men? Yes. But the Bible 
Tara. Is there a difference in their function? Tara tiner ko jimiari farak chagi sai nawala. Yes. So. Even in the family, we see a difference in function. In most cultures, who is the head of the family? It is usually the father. And the mother is equal as a person. But she submits herself to her husband. When we look at marriage, in Ephesians chapter 5, husbands are to love their wives, and wives are to do what to their husbands? Obey. Obey. Submit. So just because a wife has to obey her husband, does that mean that they're not equal? Yes, equal. They're equal. They're equal. But their function is different. Okay, so when we come to the church, men and women are equal. But their function is different. Okay, so let's look at 1 Timothy 3 and let's look at verse 14 and 15 first. Somebody read those two verses. First Timothy 3, 14 and 15. Yes. Right, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Paul is writing Timothy. And he says, in case I don't get there, I'm writing this letter. So you, so you will know how to run the church. So you will know how the church is to function. So 1 Timothy is a book about how the church is to function. It is the guide for our practice in the church. Now, one of the things you notice when you go through the qualifications in 1 Timothy 3 and in Titus 1 and in 1 Peter 5 all the pronouns are male. He does not use feminine pronouns. He does not use neuter pronouns. He uses male pronouns. Now, do you remember 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17? All scripture is inspired by God. Every word. Every tense. Every gender. In other words, God gave it exactly as He wanted it written down. So if, if He had wanted there to be women pastors, He could have used feminine pronouns. 
If he wanted there to be both men and women pastors, he could have used neuter pronouns. But he uses male pronouns. And he uses male nouns. It seems as though he would be talking to men. He even uses the word man. In verse 1, it says, It's a trustworthy statement if any man aspires to the office of overseer. Verse 2, An overseer then must be above reproach, the husband of one wife. Verse 5. But if a man does not know how to manage his own household. If God wanted women to be pastors. Ani permissually pastor haru. It seems as though he would have included women in the qualifications. Pastor, pastor But he does not. Now why? Kina. Look up at chapter two. Aba dui adhema hernos. Verses twelve through fifteen. Bara Now before we read it. Amile pornu bandagari. Let me ask you, what are the two most basic things that a pastor must do? What are the two things every pastor has to do? Every Saturday, what do you do in your church? What do you do? You teach. You teach the whole church, right? The church is gathered. You have men on one side, you have women on the other side, right? And you teach them. Right? And you lead the church. You have authority over the church. If you don't teach, you can't be a pastor. Because one of the qualifications says you have to be able to teach. And if you don't have authority over the church, you can't be the leader. So every pastor has to be able to teach both men and women. When the church is gathered together, and every pastor has to have authority over those men and women. Now, let me just say this too. We're not talking about business. We're not talking about politics. We're talking about the church. Paul is not saying that a woman cannot lead a nation. She's not, he's not saying that. Or cannot be the mayor of a city. Or cannot be the headmaster of a school. Or run her own business. This is talking about the church. So we need to keep it in the context. <laughs> so the pastor has to be able to teach the whole congregation. And have authority over the whole congregation. Men and women. Look at verse 12. Someone read verse 12. <coughs> So 
What are the two things God says a woman a woman cannot do in the church? Only two things. What does he say she cannot do? Yeah, you're all saying she cannot teach the men. And she cannot have authority over the men. So if she cannot teach the men, and she cannot have authority over the men, can she be a pastor in the church? Did you see the end of the verse 11? Also, if you may be more clear. Did you see the end of verse 11? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, those, those verses go along with this. Yes. Mm. Oh, but, 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 but dealing with just this right now, in order for a woman to be a pastor of a church, she would have to be able to teach the whole congregation gathered together, men and women, and have authority over men and women. And this passage very clearly says that a woman cannot do that. But that verse 11 she must quietly receive instruction with entire submissiveness. Now, does this mean that a woman cannot teach? Anyone? No, because Titus 2 tells us Older women are to be doing what? Teaching younger women. And let me ask you, who teaches children better, women or men? Most of the time, women do a better job with children than men do. Now, now, and let me ask you, men. Would you rather preach to the adults or to the children? Adults. Adults. <laughs> Why? It's easier. It's easier. <laughs> It's easier. Less work. They can listen well. Right. The, and the children are hard to get to listen, right? And God has created us equally but differently. Women nurture children better than men do. Uh, Flip over to 2 Timothy real fast. Hold your place in 1 Timothy. And look at verse 13. Uh, Someone read that. Kasele Pardinos. Who do you think taught Timothy his Christian faith? Christian Timothy lai usko Christian vishwas kasle sikayeko dekhinchha mother and grandmother his grandmother and his mother usko ama ra usko hajur ama right okay na now go to chapter 3 aba 3 ma janus 
And read verse 14 and 15. Aba chauda ra pandra pannus. Paul says, remember who taught you these things in your childhood. The ones that led Timothy to faith were his grandmother and his mother. And they must have done a very good job. For him to become Paul's assistant. So, it is not that God does not want women to teach. He wants them to teach women. He wants them to teach children. Let me ask you this. Is it better for a woman to teach a woman or a man to teach a woman? Woman. When the church is gathered together on a Saturday or a Sunday, then it is fine for the pastor to teach the men and the women. But what if it's just a group of women? Who should be teaching the women? The women. It's not safe for men to be teaching women. That's a good place for temptation. It's not good for men to counsel women. That is temptation. We need women in the church to be doing their job. Teaching women. Teaching the children. And we should be thankful for them. Because they have an ability to deal with children that men, not all men have. And so they free the men to do their job. But let's look at why Paul says he does not allow a woman to do those things. Let's go back to 1 Timothy 2. Someone read 12 through 15. He gives the reason why he does not allow women to be doing the job of the pastor. And he takes us all the way back to creation. Now some people believe that these instructions were only for Paul's time. And they say this is because of a problem in this particular church. Timothy is at Ephesus right now. So some people say there was a problem in Ephesus with women trying to be domineering over men. 
अनि एफसीसी का महिला अर्लेज़े पुरुष माती एकदम ही अधिकार चलाई रहे कुछ हो बनेर बंदा सा। And that's why Paul wrote this। अनि तो सरे पावल ले यो लेखे को बनेर बंदा सा। The problem with that kind of argument। अनि त्यो तार्क का मास समझे जे किस हवा ने? Is Paul goes all the way back to creation for his reason? पावल ले कारण दी दाखेरे उत्पत्ति को सृष्टि को पूरा कर रहे ले उन्नत सही है। He says the reason why we don't have women pastors is because of Adam and Eve. अन्य आज एक आदम रोहब्बा को कारण ले हमी महिला अलग पास्टर बनाऊं देनो बने आज। Adam was created first. आदम लाय पहला बनाए कुछ हो। Eve was created second. अने Eve लाय अथवा रोहब्बा लाय दूसरों चोटी बनाए थे। Adam was given the commission to rule and to conquer and to have dominion over the earth. अने आदम लाय जाए गाय रफ फलदे फुलदे जाने रफ पृथ्वी में अधिकार करने आगे दिए कुछ हो। Eve was created to what? अनि हब बाला क्या बने कुत्ते? To be a companion. To be a companion. सुयोग्य सगी सायोगी उन्हों बने आते हो. And help him. अनि उस ताई सहायता को उन्हों बने आते हो. She was his helpmate. अनि तू उसे सुयोग्य सायोगी. He could not do the job God gave him without Eve. उसलाई परमेश्वर ने देखो जिम मा हब्बा को सहयोग बिना उसले गरना सक देना थियो। He needed Eve। उसलाई हब्बा चाहिए नहीं थियो। But who was the authority? तर अधिकार कसला दिए कुतियो। Adam। Adam लाई। Eve was equal to Adam। हब्बा Adam संग बराबर थियो। As people। केरे व्यक्ति को रूप मा मानस को रूप मा। Both created in the image of God. Do we take permission to pray to Rupa Banaku? But her function was to help him. तर उसको जिम्मेवार जाएं सहयोग करने थियो. Not rule him. तर उसमें थी अधिकार जमान लाय हुई ना. That's how God created things. अने ते परमेश्वर बनों दहरी तो सर ने बनाको. And we see that in Ephesians five with the pattern of marriage. अने दस पची एफएसी पांच में हमें ने बेवाह में बनी तेरी देख सों. The man is to lead. केरे पुरुष ले जाएं नेत्रितो करने The wife is to submit and follow अने श्रीमती ले केरे आधीन में बसे रहा पच्चाऊ ने Have you ever seen a snake with two heads अने तबायले दुई टाउ के सरपा कहीं ले देखने बात था I heard but never seen सुने अच्छो तर देखा था ना So which way does it go कौता दान सा A snake with two heads does not go very far दुई टाव के सार पर सार पर रहे चार जाना सब देना। You can only have one leader। तब आई ने ये उटा मात्रा आगवा पाउंड्स। You can't have two and three and they're all going different directions। आ तब आई जाने तो पूरे आगवा रहे एक टाव बसे रहे जता आता थे जाना चाहे बने। You will split the body। ना तब आई ले बसारी ला टुकड़ा पाउंड्स। So in the family there is one leader। तो इसका ने परिवार में आगवा एक जाना मात्रा होन्स। The man। पुरुष। now he might be a good leader, he might be a bad leader. But that is God's plan. And it appears to be the same plan for the church. Now let's look at verse 14. And it was not Adam who was deceived. But the woman being deceived fell into transgression. So remember Genesis chapter 3. The serpent in the garden. And he deceives Eve. He did not deceive Adam. So you ask, then why did Adam sin? Eve was fooled. Adam chose to disobey God knowing exactly what he was doing. Adam's sin was willful rebellion against God. अने आदम को पाप से ही जानी जानी का ना परमेश्वर को विरुद्ध मत थियो। That's why the whole human race fell। तेसे लेने सभी मानी साथी असफल बने। Did the human race fall in Eve or did it fall in Adam? के मानी साथी गिरे को आदम को कारने होगी अथवा हब्बा मगरी हो। गिरे। Adam। Adam मगरी हो। It fell in Adam। Adam मगरे को। 
If Adam had not eaten the fruit, यदि आदम ले त्यो फल नखाए को भाई, Eve would have died. हब्बा मरने थियो. Adam would not have died. Adam मरने थिए ना. And there would be no fall. अने तेज पची केरे पतन पने उन्हें थिए ना. The responsibility for the human race was not through Eve. मानिस जाति को जिम्मेवारी हब्बा बाटो हुई ना. It was through Adam. यो जे आदम बाटो हो. But here's what's interesting. तरह यहाँ नेर घट लाग द करो जाइए. But who does the Savior come through? उधार करता जे कहाँ बटा होन्सा? The woman. महिला बटा होन्सा. Genesis 3:15. इनको पंद्रा. So the man is responsible for our fall. मानिस से हम रो के रे पतन मजे ने जिम्मेवार सन. But he says it's through the woman that I will bring the Redeemer. तरह महिला बटा महिले उधार करता ले होने चाहिए. The seed of the woman will crush the head of Satan. अने स्त्री को संतान ले सैतान को खुट्टा ऐटाउ को किल्चिने चाह. So does God have high regard for women? के परमेश्वर को जन परमेश्वर ले स्त्री अलाप मास मैथिलिस्तान दिन मास है ना? Yes. हाँ. But in His plan, He says man is to be responsible. तारा परमेश्वर को योजना में पुरुष ले जिम्मेदारी ली नु पर्सा वन रखने में आता। So why does He say that the reason a woman cannot be a pastor is because she was deceived by Satan? What's the point? What's He trying to say? यार निर्जे क्या बनने को जो योजने उन्हीं छाले को हो सैतान बड़े छाले को क्या बने को दे? Why is a woman placed under the protection of her husband, or before she is married under the protection of her father? Kina maila lai biva apachari sriman ko surachama ra biva vanda agari apno pita ko surachama unsa. Why? Kina. She doesn't have strong willpower. Ah, and that comes from a woman. <laughs> That comes from a woman. Oh, what is it? Usanga zay ek dhamay kyo kuro garse bani kuro. Ma ati ra paru samajane zay usanga tyo sakcha mata unna. Okay. Before marriage, ladies submit upon father. After marriage, wife submit upon her husband. Ani kaj ko. My, I have again seven children. Three, three sons, four daughters. My daughters are like their mother. Emotional. They have emotions that go this way and that way and up and down. And, and all around. My three sons are logical. They're not emotional. They, they look at things and they think those things out. Now my daughters, they think too. मेरे छोरियाँ ले पनी सोचा, but they think in a different way. तरह उन्हें ले फर्क तरीके आले सोचा. They see the beauty in everything. तीन अगले सभी कुरो सुंदर देख संधार सन. They have kind hearts. तीन अगले संग एकदम ही दयालु रीदे था. They can't believe that anybody would ever want to hurt them. और ने उन्हें ले जानी तो कसई ले उन्हें ले चोर पान ना जान सन ना राम लगाने जान सन वाले कुरो उन्हें विश्वास करना चाह but not my boys. They like to fight war. They play with toy guns. They want to hunt. They want to conquer. They want to rule. They're tough. And they can tell when somebody is trying to take advantage of them. In a way that my daughters do not know. God made men and women different. Now, if, if all we had were men, it would be terrible. We'd be eating the same old stuff all the time. There would be no beauty. 
There would be no softness. No, no gentleness. Gentleness. Uh, Who is it that brings the atmosphere into the home? The man or the woman? It's the mother. Who, who usually decorates the walls? It's the mother. So if we didn't have women, life would be very cold. But if women did not have men, They'd be fighting with each other. And it would be a terrible world. So God gives us to each other. Women compliment men. Men compliment women. They're equal in God's sight. And the reason God put men as the leaders is they are more equipped to do combat with Satan than a woman is. Would you send your daughters to join the army and fight hand to hand against the enemy? Would you want to do that? Now, two of my sons fought in wars. My oldest son fought in Iraq. And he saw terrible things. He lost many friends that were killed by the enemy. He survived Iraq and came home and was changed. He lost part of his hearing. And by the grace of God, he has been salvaged from that war. Uh, and he is a missionary in China. My second son, who ND knows, My second son, who ND knows, Luke, Luke fought in Afghanistan. Afghanistan and he saw terrible, terrible he was a combat medic. So his job was to get the wounded out of the field. And do whatever he could to save their lives. So they both saw war. My daughters could not do what my sons did. I would not want my daughters to do that. God has not equipped women to fight like that. But from the book of Deuteronomy and Joshua and Judges, even back in Numbers, who did God send out to war? Was it the men or the women? Men. Men. There, there was one time where a woman went out because the man would not go out. Do you remember that story? Deborah. Deborah. And what did she say to him? She said, if I go out instead of you, you are going to lose the honor. And do you know his name? You know her name. But, but do you know his name? 
Why do we know her name but we can't remember his name? हामीले उनको चाहिँ नाम किन सम्झिन्छौ र उहाँको नाम चाहिँ किन सम्झिन्दैनौ? Because she got the honor. किनभने उनले चाहिँ आदर पाए. And the man that did not fight lost the honor. अनि जुन चाहिँ मानिसले लडाई लड्न चाहन्न त्यसको आदर गुम्यो. Would you like to be that man? के तपाई त्यो हरुवा मान्छे बन्न चाहनुहुन्छ? No. Why not? See, I think that's the reason why God says women are not equipped to deal directly with satanic attack. त्यसैले नै म विचार गर्छु कि परमेश्वरले स्त्रीहरुलाई शैतानको आक्रमणसँग जुट्नलाई सिधै आफै जुट्नलाई बनाउनु भएको होइन। The way that a man is equipped जुन तरिकाले मानिसहरुलाई त्योसँग जुट्नलाई शक्ति दिनु भएको छ। Because the man has to look at what the Bible says किनभने पुरुषले बाइबलले के भन्दछ त्यो हेर्नु पर्यो and think logically अनि सोच्नु पर्यो and not allow his emotions to sway him अनि त्यसपछि उसलाई आएको भावनाहरुले जित्न दिनु भएन and not to be deceived अनि त्यसपछि के रे छलिनु पनि भएन I think that's why God has Paul talk about Adam and Eve त्यसैले नै परमेश्वरले आदम र इभको विषयमा त्यही विषयबारे कुरा गरेको होला। But let's let's look at verse 15 and then we'll take another break. 15 पद हेर्ने छौ र हामीले एउटा ब्रेक लिने छौ। But look at what he says. But women will be preserved through the bearing of children. अनि यानी नि महिला चाहिँ बालक जन्ममा बचाइने छन् भने बचाइने छिन् भने चाहिँ के भनेको थियो? If they continue in faith and love उनीहरू के प्रेम र विश्वासमा लागि राखे भने and sanctity with self restraint. अनि त्यसपछि पवित्र पवित्र प्रेममा रहिरहे भने Now what word does your bible use mine uses preserved what does yours use बचाइने छन् And what's that mean uh, saved saved This is not saying that women will be saved by having children अनि यहाँ चाहिँ महिलाहरूले बच्चा पाएपछि बचाइने छ भनेको होइन You know God uses the word saved not only for our salvation but for our sanctification. केरे उद्धारको कुरा मात्र हैन तर हाम्रो पवित्रीकरणको पनि कुरा आउँछ. The context helps us understand what he means. यो सन्दर्भले चाहिँ हामीलाई बुझ्न सहायता गर्छ। उसको अर्थ के हो? We know that a person is saved by grace. हामीलाई थाहा छ एउटा व्यक्तिको उद्धार अनुग्रहबाट हुँदछ। Not by works. कामबाट होइन। We know that a person is sanctified. तर हामीलाई यो पनि थाहा छ एउटा बाहेकरे व्यक्ति पवित्र पवित्र बन्छ थ्रु देयर ओबिडियन्स उनीहरुको आज्ञाकारिताबाट करेक्ट हो कि हैन सो देयर इज अ डिफरेंस वी आर नॉट सेव्ड बाय आवर ओबिडियन्स हामीहरु के रे हाम्रो आज्ञाकारिताले बचाइएको होइनौ बट वी आर सेंटिफाइड बाय आवर ओबिडियन्स तर हाम्रो आज्ञाकारिताले हामी पवित्र बनेका हौ सो पाउल इज नॉट सेइंग दैट अ वुमन इज गोइंग टु बी सेव्ड फ्रॉम हेल बाय हैविंग चिल्ड्रन तर यानी नि पाउलले चाहिँ बच्चा के रे महिलाहरुले बच्चा पाएपछि नरक जानबाट बचाइने छ भनेको होइन बट हियर्स व्हाट ही इज सेइंग तर के भन्दै छ भने यहाँ ही इज सेइंग दैट अ वुमन दैट डज हैव चिल्ड्रन इज गोइंग टु गो थ्रू अ प्रोसेस अफ सेंटिफिकेशन that a man will never go through tara maila le baccha paunda khere purush haru na jane bata ko pavitrikaran bata bhaira jane chan what do you learn when you have to raise children tapai le bal baccha hurkaunu parcha bhanne kuro jane pachi tapai le ke sikhnu huncha who gets up in the middle of the night to feed the babies aadhi raat ma uthera baccha rakhaune kaam kasle garcha the mother aama le who who does not get to sleep कसुत्न कसले पाउँदैन द मदर आमाले हु कुक्स द मिल्स खाना कसले पकाउँछ मदर हु वाशेस द क्लोथ्स लुगाहरु कसले धुन्छ आई सो अ वुमन टुडे डाउन बिलो वाशिंग अ बिग पाइल अफ क्लोथ्स अनि आज मैले एक जना दिदी के बहिनी छ नि थुप्रो यत्रो लुगाको थुप्रो मैले धुइरहेको देखे एन्ड शी लुक्ड टायर्ड अनि उनी थाकेकी थिइन हु गोस टु बेड एक्जॉस्टेड एट नाइट अनि थाकेर ओछ्यानमा सुत्न को जान्छ इट्स द मदर Ama who takes care of the babies when they come crying because they fell down Ani kere baccha ladeko belama rudai aunda kheri tesla wasta kale garcha Usually it's the mother Prae som ama nai un Who teaches them how to go to the bathroom Ani kere hagna mutna kasle sikauncha 
Usually the mother. Ama. Who is the greatest servant in the house? Ghar ma sabai banda thulo shebak ko. Who is it? Ko. It's the mother. Ama. And who did Jesus say that he he is the one who came to do what? To serve. Ani Jesus le ke vanchu wa ke garna aunu bare sheva dina lai. The person who has the greatest opportunity to be the most like Jesus is probably the mother. Ani Jesus le jastai hune sabai banda thulo mauka bhayeko byakti chai sambhavata aama nai hun. She learns how to serve. उनले सेवा कसरी गर्नु पर्छ भन्ने कुरो सिक्दछिन् अलमोस्ट एभ्री मोमेन्ट अफ हर लाइफ उसको जीवनको हर पलमा एन्ड सो गॉड इज सेइंग हियर लिसन वुमेन आर गोइंग टु बी सेंक्टिफाइड एज दे फुलफिल देयर रोल अफ बीइंग वाइव्स एन्ड मदर्स अनि महिलाहरुले उसको जुन के रे आमा र श्रीमती भएर सो लेट मी आस्क अ वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन त्यसकारणले म एकदमै साधारण प्रश्न तपाईलाई सोध्न चाहन्छु God says that there's a job in the church that women cannot do. Akere parmeshwarle bhannuncha ki mandali ma euta kaam mahila le garnu mildaina bhanera bhannuncha. That's to be the pastor. Ani tyo je pastor hune kaam. But is there a job in the home that a man cannot do? Ani despachi ghar ma aama le garnu kere garnu nasakne kaam cha ki chaina hola? What is it? Ke hola tyo? To be a mother. Aama hune. So a man can't do that job. आमा हुने काम बुवाले गर्न सक्दैन। God is saying men this is what I have equipped you to do. हेर्नु के रे पुरुषहरु तिमीहरुलाई मैले यही गर्नलाई बनाएको छु यु के रे तालिम दिएको छु। And as you lead your homes आफ्नो घरको नेतृत्व गर्नु and if you're a pastor if you lead your churches अनि पास्टर हो भने चर्चलाई नेतृत्व गर्नु you will learn your sanctification. तिमी त्यो कुरो गरेर सेवा गर्न सिक्ने छौ। You will learn to become like Christ. तिमी त्यसरी नै त्यही काम गरेर ख्रिस्ट जस्तै बन्न सिक्ने छौ। Women if you are a good wife अनि के रे महिलाहरु तपाई असल आमा हुनुहुन्छ भने and if god gives you children अनि छोरा छोरी दिनुभयो भने or if you adopt children अथवा छोरा छोरीहरु धर्मपुत्र पाल्नुभयो भने or you care for the children in the church अथवा चर्च मा का बालबालिकाहरुलाई सेवा गर्नुभयो भने you will grow in your sanctification अनि उसले पनि के रे पवित्रीकरणमा तिमी बढ्ने छौ so i think that is the reason why god says men are to be the pastors and women are not त्यसैले नै परमेश्वरले मण्डलीमा पुरुषहरुलाई पास्टर हुनु र दिदीबहिनीहरुलाई नहुनु भनेको जस्तो मलाई लाग्छ। Any questions or comments? Yes, my प्रश्न अथवा केही सल्लाह छ तपाईको सुझाव? टिप्पणी? त्यसमा मेरो एउटा प्रश्न के आयो भने नि प्रचार गर्न त पाउँदैन त्यो लिडिङ गर्न पाउँदैन कहिले। अ सो शी डजन्ट गेट अ चान्स टु टीच बट व्हाट अबाउट लीडिङ? सिंगिङ सङ ओपनिङ प्रेयर एनी कन्डक्टिङ सर। व्हाट अबाउट दैट? Sure. I, I, do you all unless you translate it to these guys? Yeah, Nepali man, what was that? The oil army throw what then going on? Hey, who's that? I'm doing for. Malaysia, there is the soil prayer, sir. What then going on? Sir, I'm going to hear it from us. Sir, the one who pastor is sir, I'm going to go to Paulo. Sir, Monday I'm announcing that I'm going to Mohan Gaon. I'm going to this type of person. Sir, I'm going to you cry. I'm going to go to Paulo. Sir, I'm going to go to Paulo. Sir, I'm going to go to Paulo. Mm-hmm. So to make it explicit, so if there is a prayer, Bible reading, or worship leading, can women do or not? I I I think so. My the malalaksa the ule gana paunchin. You know, we're we're told Paul tells us I think in First Corinthians one. Paulo Corinthi ek ma or two two ma dui ma not to go beyond scripture. Bhatsan banda para na jano. Four chapter four verses. Okay. Okay, so we're not supposed to go beyond what scripture teaches. Bachanle bhaneko bhanda para janu bhayena. If God puts a fence here, parmeshwarle yani ri bar rakhnu bhayecha cha bhane, we should not put a fence over here. Ani tyo bhanda yeta pati arko bar launu bhayena. God's already made the fence, right? Tyo bar ta parmeshwarle pahile lai saknu bhayecha. So God says a woman cannot be the pastor. Ani kare a बच्चा बच्चा ने भन्छ कि महिलाहरु पास्टर हुन सक्दैन। He does not say anything about anything else. तर त्यो भन्दा बाहेक अरु ठाउँमा पर्त बच्चनले केही पनि भन्दैन। So I think that's fine. त्यसकारणले उसले चाहिँ नि त्यस्तो गर्न मिल्छ। Some churches even believe that say say you have a class in the church and the woman 
a, say a Sunday or a, a, a separate class than your church meeting. कति मण्डल लेखे पनि विचार गर्छ भने जस्तै मानिलिउँ तपाईको के रे मण्डलीमा अरु विभिन्न क्लासहरु छ लाइक आवर सिस्टर हु हैज एन इन्ट्रेस्ट इन मिशन्स अनि मानिलिउँ उ आज मिशनको बारेमा एकदमै इच्छुक हुनुहुन्छ एन्ड से शी नोज मोर अबाउट मिशन्स इन द चर्च देन एनीवन एल्स डज अनि मण्डलीमा भएका अरु सबैभन्दा बढी उहाँलाई मिशनको बारेमा थाहा छ भने एन्ड सो से देयर इज अ मीटिंग नॉट द चर्च गैदर्ड बट अ मीटिंग अनि त्यो चाहिँ आइतबारको त्यो आराधना सेवा होइन तर मण्डलीमा चाहिँ अर्को एउटा पाठ मिटिङ छ एन्ड इट ह्याज मेन एन्ड वुमेन त्यहाँ चाहिँ पुरुष पनि छ स्त्री पनि छ एन्ड द पास्टर एस हर टु शेयर विथ दिस क्लास व्हाट शी नोज अबाउट मिशन्स अनि त्यो क्लासमा चाहिँ पास्टरले ल तपाईले चाहिँ नि यसमा चाहिँ बताइदिनु पर्यो भनेर के रे अनुरोध गर्यो भने इज दैट ओके त्यो मिल्छ कि मिल्दैन आई थिंक सो मिल्छ कि मिल्दैन अनुवाद गर त्यो अनुवाद गर है सो देर वॉज अ देर वॉज देर वॉज अ मोमेन्ट एन्ड सम बाइबल स्कॉलर स्टुडेन्ट यो न फि वुमन बाइबल स्कॉलर शी वॉज कम्प्लेनिङ दैट बाइबल इज मेल डोमिनेन्ट सो वी नीड टू करेक्ट दिस करेक्ट दिस राइट वेल इफ इफ यू गोइङ टू करेक्ट द बाइबल अब तपाईले बाइबल नलाई सुधार्न थाल्नु भयो भने त हु आर यु ट्राइङ टु करेक्ट कसलाई सुधार्दै हुनुहुन्छ गॉड परमेश्वरलाई बिकज इट्स इन्स्पायर्ड अफ गॉड त्यो चाहिँ परमेश्वरको प्रेरणाबाट लेखिएको सो वी क्यान नट करेक्ट द बाइबल विदाउट ट्राइङ टु करेक्ट गॉड हामीले परमेश्वरलाई ठीक प्रकारले चाहिँ सुधार्नलाई हामीले उहाँले नसुधार्न किन बाइबल पनि सुधार्न सक्दैन एन्ड आई एम नट करेजियस अनफ टु डू दैट अनि मसँग चाहिँ त्यो गर्ने साहस छैन आई आई थिंक इन योर इन्डिभिजुअल चर्चेस अनि तपाईको व्यक्तिगत मण्डलीहरुमा यु ह्याव टु टेक दिस तपाईले यो लिनु पर्छ एन्ड यु ह्याव टु डिसाइड हाउ डू वी अंडरस्ट्यान्ड दिस तपाईले यो कसरी बुझ्दै हुनुहुन्छ त्यो लिनु पर्छ एन्ड ट्राइ एन्ड आवर बेस्ट टु ओबे स्क्रिप्चर अनि हामीले सबै बलबुताले वचन पालन गर्ने इच्छा राख्नु पर्छ व्हाट डू वी अलाउ वुमेन टु डू एन्ड नट टु डू हामीले महिलाहरुलाई के के गर्न दिन सक्छौं के के गर्न दिन सक्दैनौं डज दिस मीन दैट अ वुमन कुड नॉट लीड प्रेयर के त्यसको मतलब महिलाहरुले प्रार्थना गर्न पनि प्रार्थनाको अगुवाई गर्न नसक्ने Does it mean that a woman could not be brought up in the service and and simply share a verse or a passage in the service? Ke tesko matlab chai mahila aara usle chai bible ko khanda pani padna na paune usle bible pani batana kare pat pani batana na paune huncha? I don't think that's what it's talking about. Ah mero bichar ma tyo pani yo khanda le bhani raheko chaina. In all of your churches tapai ko mandali ma is there a time when the pastor comes to the pulpit मण्डलीमा पास्टर के पुलपिटमा वचन लिएर आउँदाखेरि ओपन्स द बाइबल बाइबल खोल्छ एन्ड सेज दस सेयथ द लोर्ड परमेश्वरले भन्नुहुन्छ भनेर घोषणा गर्दाखेरि एन्ड यु प्रीच टु द कंग्रेगेशन अनि तपाईले त्यो के रे सबै के रे सभालाई तपाईले सिकाउन वचन प्रचार गर्नु हुँदाखेरि डज दैट ह्यापन इन अल योर चर्चेस के तपाईहरुको त्यसमा हुन्छ नि हैन मण्डलीमा इज देयर अ टाइम व्हेन यु डू दैट के रे त्यस्तो गर्ने समय हुँदाखेरि देयर शुड बी त्यो त हुनु पर्यो व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज आई थिंक दैट द बाइबल इज टीचिंग अस दैट दैट इज नॉट द जॉब फॉर द वुमन अनि त्यसरी वचन प्रचार गरेर अधिकार साथ घोषणा गर्ने कुरो चाहिँ महिलाको काम होइन इफ यु ह्याव अदर अपर्चुनिटीज फर वुमेन अनि महिलाहरुको लागि तपाईसँग अरु अधिकारहरु छ भने मौकाहरु छ भने दैट्स फाइन त्यो ठीक छ नि 
You you determine that before God. तपाईले त्यो परमेश्वरको अगाडि पत्ता लाउनु पर्यो। <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, the, 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 the greatest hope here is even though she is not allowed to be pastor, but she has the capa capacity to produce pastors. That's right. So, Amen. So, wow. So actually, which one is which one is more you know better the, to to produce wow. pastor? Or yeah. become pastor. Amen. Oh. Amen. Yeah. Let's take a break, I think. Huh? <laughs> you come. You you take this. <laughs> Good job. I will take a break for 10 minutes. I will take a break for 5 minutes. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I तपाईंलाई <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>